morning we caught a train from Florence to Naples and then we got a private transfer from Naples to Sorrento and we went through good hot limos and we did that for all of our private transfers and I really really recommend them we stopped in at Pompeii and this was actually incredible like mind-blowing and I can't even process how this even happened like they're still digging it to this day like our guided tour took us to places that they were literally still digging and finding all these different like wall art and things like that and it was just crazy to see how they lived life back then it was yeah really really interesting and then we went back into the car and we headed straight to Sorrento and oh my god I can't even tell you when I saw the water I just felt immediately at home after not seeing water for so long it was really refreshing just to see water especially living in Australia I was just like oh this is just like a little reminder of home and it felt really nice we spent the rest of the day exploring around Sorrento we had the most beautiful Airbnb in a perfect location that I'll link for you guys down below and we just yeah I spent the afternoon looking around going up and down looking at the marina and also just like the main streets of Sorrento as well wasn't the best weather so we just spent the day relaxing and hopping from restaurant to restaurant we ran into our Australian friends there so we had a big lunch together while the rain was just pouring down and then we headed to dinner at Il Pozzo and this was really delicious I highly recommend this restaurant in Sorrento it was one of our favorites during the trip the following day we had booked a boat tour and it was kind of touch and go with the weather. There was moments of sun and then moments of cloudy best, but we were able to go out onto the water. We booked this through Airbnb experiences and I will link that down for you guys below as well. Our driver was incredible. We had the best time. We got to swim. We went to all the grottos, red grotto, white grotto, blue grotto, and he took us through the Capri and then back to Sorrento. So enjoy these little montages.
after our boat trip, we headed straight back to Sorrento to get our favorite gelato from Rocky. I think it's Rocky or Rocky, and it's absolutely delicious. And I pretty much went there every single day. And then the following day, we went to Positano. So we got a private transfer again with Good Heart Limos to take us to Positano. It was just the fastest, quickest way for us to get there. And it ended up actually being cheaper between the six of us to divide than getting on the ferry. So we did it that way. We spent the day in Positano. It was great. And then we headed back home to Sorrento for a beautiful final dinner all together. It was great. It was in like a lemon tree farm restaurant and you would have dinner amongst the lemons and then you could actually walk into their like lemon garden where they had so many lemons and it was actually beautiful. <laughs> up on our last day and we headed to Fumoncino because we decided to stay there a couple of nights before our flight back home. It's just closer to the airport and it was super super convenient. So we had our final dinners there and then we headed back home.